Good morning, everyone. How are you all? Hmm? Had breakfast. So I have heard that energy level in Delhi is far, far higher than you know any anywhere else. Hmm? Up sub Delhi, so na Delhi ke aas pas. Okay. I speak Hindi also little bit. She is very happy. <laughs> So, my name is Vinay Kumar and I am the founder of Insights IAS. <coughs> so, today I will be talking about your journey towards 2023 attempt, how it should be, what are the things that you need to do, what are the things that you should never do, right. And I will be answering all of your queries, if you have any queries. So, in the course of this discussion, keep thinking about questions also questions that you need answer, right. At a very young age, I come with some experience here, right. Keep it here. Keep asana ki koshish kar tum beginning so that we break jada <laughs> siya guys jada serious mat how do you say in hindi jada serious mat so don't look very serious how do you say it in hindi jada serious mat ho right i think few few students are coming Have you seen me anywhere? In our own small world, I am a little bit famous. <laughs> so, looking at all of you here in Delhi, you know, everybody looks so studious, like everybody looks like a topper. So, welcome you all, welcome you all for this session and uh, some of you have you already joined the courses. Thank you so much for despite it is like you people are moving against the tide, right, the kind of decision you have taken that despite having so many big institutions here, that you have somehow put trust here at insights and have decided to start your journey along with us. And in south, in Bangalore, so we have proven to some extent that those who have trusted us those who have stayed with us from day one to last day. So, we have really delivered very well with respect to results. So, from offline, the from the very year itself, we are getting good results. We have started getting very good results last two years. And from last OGP, we are expecting even better results also. And from this OGP 2023, which we are starting in Delhi, that I personally have taken a deep interest in this, right. So, numbers does not matter, we have built a classroom big enough to accommodate 200 plus, but we want to start with small numbers. And when I started with small number long ago like 2014, the result was tremendous. You know the story started something like this, I had a website insightsonindia.com, so we used to I used to basically I was the only person who was running the show, used to post questions, secure questions, daily answer writing, challenge, current affairs, so many things. And then people used to write, I used to interact with them. So, people trusted when I said in 2014, I will start offline test series program, not classroom. So, I am not good at teaching, I do not know anything. So, I am good at guiding with respect to how to write and all those things. So, I told people uh, you will get one to one guidance and there will be test every day. So, back in 2014 when very few people were visiting website, uh, so more than 300 people showed interest that they wanted to come, but I was scared, right. So, do not take too many people, you will fail immediately, right, you cannot do justice. So, I said uh, I have, I can may, maybe manage only 40 students, so I will do an entrance, conducted an entrance exam 
<coughs> and then uh, entrance included a small essay and one or two ethics questions. And out of uh, 300, only around 110 people wrote it. So that is how the things work. You know, you show the josh when you say that there is a barrier to cross, people back off. So out of them, I took only 40. And after two months into the program, because it was so intensive, every day I used to make them write 10 answers in the classroom. 10 answers in the classroom. So can you imagine? I, I used to tell them, you read, you know, first five chapters of Bipin Chandra. So no spectrum, no NCRT, five chapters from Bipin Chandra. And then I would frame 10 questions and next day they had to write answers. So it was very hectic. But for the first time, somebody someone in some part of the country was doing it for the first time. Nobody was ever doing it, that focus on answer writing. So out of 40, 20 people backed up. They paid fees, made me little bit rich. They went out. Of these 20 people, uh, around like, you know, 10, 11 people cleared prelims, wrote mains. Majority of them in, went to interview and then another 10 people got added after prelims. Right. Combined, so we got five ranks out of around, you know, 20 people, uh, not even 20, less than 20 who were writing the last leg of mains test after prelims. So looking back, so when I see that, why it happened, something like that. Mainly, these people were writing in such a way that nobody was doing that kind of practice anywhere in the country. Right. So that developed their own individuality, individual quality with respect to their answers, with respect to their preparation, right? And I think that appealed. So we got rank 8, rank 26, rank 34, rank 95, rank 395. 4 got IAS and 1 got IRS IT. Rank 95 got IRS IT because it stopped at 94, right? Otherwise 5 IAS in our very first batch. And then I repeated the same thing till 2016. So we got all India first rank also, Nandini KR, she was part of the core batch. But not every day test, by then I saw that key, you know, every day is not uh, possible for everyone. So we used to have once in two, three days. So then we started this OGP class. So we got like more than 4,000 applications for OGP because Nandini had got first rank herd mentality, you know that. When somebody gets first rank, everybody wants to get into that institution because they think that everybody can be first rank. So, I, I took only 250 people, right, filtered applications and then uh, out of these uh, uh, 250, so far at least 40 people have got ranks in last 3 years, right, including rank 5, like last year rank 20, right. So, and again many of them have got into state civil services. They had this combination of classroom come answer rating program. Something that we started in the beginning and then later most of the people got started adopting. And some people haven't adopted that also. So most of it is only when we one way teaching. Now how different it is going to be for you people. Now I want to go back to that the initial phase. You know, lucky that we have got only less number of students. Correct. I look at it that way. Because now I can spend more resources on you people and some of you, if you have that fire within you, that in 2023, if you want to be in top 10, if you want to be in top 20, I'll assure you, I'm going to make it happen, right? How I'll tell you, but it requires reciprocation, right? It requires 100% commitment from your side. So as long as there is commitment from your side, we will assure that there is and this is a recorded session and it is going to be on YouTube and it is going to be maybe on Telegram also we will put it. So once spoken, I had stopped promising for two to three years. I thought we will deliver, right? We started delivering and all. But here it is going to be first batch in Delhi. So I want to relive that memory where we focused on, you know, bringing the best out of a candidate. Everybody is not capable, right? But if those who are sitting in the room, if you can do it, if you think that you actually inherently possess that capacity to go through 
that kind of hectic, that kind of rigorous, you know, preparation phase, you will definitely reach the interview stage, right? So it's a program which will take care of two aspects. One, so we wanted freshers here. Most of you are freshers, right? That you haven't taken coaching anywhere mostly, and for the first time you are going to be part of it. Now, how is the general mindset? When somebody decides, let's say, some remote corner of Bihar, he starts thinking that you know he wants to he wants to become a IAS officer. Now he comes to Delhi, like he gets some money, and then he joins an institution with the aim that you know first I'll complete the basics, the foundation course. Like we'll, we'll complete the foundation. Okay, so he will complete all the syllabus, you know, related to GS, whatever is there. But for some reason, I have seen even in Bangalore, so most of the people, what they do is that, even yesterday also I tweeted about it. So there is focus on consumption of information, right? You listen to class, you buy textbooks, you buy notes, you keep revising them, you keep revising the textbook, you listen to class, you join another module. So there is so much focus on getting the knowledge. Right. So you get empowered in terms of you know getting so much of knowledge. But for some reason, I've seen even in Bangalore people you know getting their coaching done from top institutions here. When I asked two questions, were you able to read all NCRT textbooks? Answer is no, most of the times. Because they didn't have time to do it. So many classes. Second one, did you write, have you written any single essay or some answers? Answers they will tell, yeah, I followed SQ now and then I have written essay. Not a single person, even after spending nearly 5 to 10 lakh staying here. Imagine, like, I, we, two to two and a half lakh, may everything will be over in Bangalore, cost of living and fees and all. But on an average, we make them write 30 to 40 essays. Again, not for everyone, I am telling you. So don't take me wrong. Only for those people who are committed. Right. We tell everyone, you write. But again, if there are 100 people, only 10 people do this. Less than 10 percent. But I make it a point, if somebody is writing 30 essays, I will evaluate all 30 essays. I know that all 100 people are not writing and you know, when 10 people are coming, I mean, for me it is not a big number. And more than that, no, what I am telling is, I am not promising, I have been doing this. Right. Why I sit in my chamber when somebody comes with an essay, why do I evaluate? Right. So why I don't send them back? That no, no, kisi aur ko dikhao, something. The reason is I know how much difficult it is for some person to, right, especially when you are in the beginning of this preparation, to muster that courage, right? To write an essay is not easy thing. That you are, you are in the beginning, you have read only polity, economy, but the essay may be something related to environment, maybe. Right? Some of you have initiated yourself. Has you know made up your mind, taken pen, papers, and you have written something that I appreciate. Right? I want to value that. That you have taken a step here. And if I start supporting that, if I start giving you feedback and if I start reinforcing that, you know, faith you have, I have seen those people continue to write, right? Of course, not perfectly. Some will write 10, 15, 20, 30, but that is far, far better than somebody who is not writing anything, right? That person who has written in the course of one year, let's say 20, 30 essays, will 100% score 130 plus marks in the actual exam which even toppers struggle to get 130 plus, uh, going by the last two year standards. There are instances where people have scored 150, 160 also, right? So it will happen in such a way that it does not look like stressful, it does not look like, you know, burdensome to you people, right? It will be part of the process where you invest in your hard work, you write something and then we through mentorship, right? We value it, we give you feedback and you will continue to do it. So that particular 
aspect is very much part of the OGP and similar thing will happen with the answer rating. So, in the classroom itself every day in the class we will give you one answer, but the teacher will encourage, I will encourage you to write two more answers. So, our fundamental philosophy is that you people are all graduates, you are not like school kids who are scared of writing about something, right. So, people have spread nonsense across this you know whole UPH, UPSC thing and YouTube even big people that first you become fat and then you start running, right. You consume information, you know you finish your coaching and then start writing answers. I have seen this narrative, I have heard about this. There is this nar narrative, but you people being graduates, you people who are capable of actually writing, doing on your own can do it from day one itself, right. So, let us let us say that we start with uh, Indian polity, right. So, Indian polity uh, the teacher will teach the basic may be about constituent, constituent assembly debates for example, I do not know what they will start with Maybe if that is the topic. So, if they have taught you for 3 hours you have enough content to write any 2 answers on those topic directly that is one thing. And now let us say you are going back and reading newspapers, now so many issues are going on. So, foreign policy related so many initiatives are going on right, the prime minister is in, in a, inaugurating so many infrastructure projects here and there and you are reading and you are understanding at least the, the very basics of it right. Now, if I ask you to write one or two answers on these topics also you are capable of writing that. All you need is show bit of extra passion, extra efforts, read on your own something. And this aspect where we ask you to do something on your own is the most important part of UPSC preparation. Why? Because that will slowly introduce you to start believing in your own abilities through self-study mode which will start getting reflected in the answers you write in the test series, right, in the weekly uh, essay, weekly exams, wherever we give exams, your individuality will start getting reflected. If you go back on your own, you pick up two questions, do something, we will guide you, right. In the, in the beginning, it will take 3, 4 hours to write two answers. But if you persist after 20, 25 days, it will take 1 to 2 hours. If you persist for 2 months, in 1 hour, you can write 3 answers. You will, you will read editorial, you will read article, you will get the important point and you will start writing them. It is all about consistency. So, that is where the mentorship is there. So, you write two answers, we will tell, you will, you will come and show them and they will evaluate. If you keep doing it frequently, right, so eventually you will reach a stage where you will start on your own writing like four, five answers. So, I have seen people, you know, there, there used to be people who used to write like six, seven answers in a day on their own and most of them have cleared, got it. So, for this to happen as I said in the beginning, there should be passion within you, no self doubt, no amount of like not an iota of self doubt, right. And this is not going to be as easy as people tell you the, the, the journey forward, it is going to be difficult and it should be like that, difficult in the sense in terms of what you need to do, not, not difficult in terms of how you treat it, right. So, mentally you have to be relaxed, you have to enjoy the process, enjoy the process of writing regularly, you know coming and showing it, getting the feedback, going back and you know applying that feedback, trying to improve your skills. If the entire focus, has, focus is on this process, right, in one attempt you can easily crack this exam without any headache. And here fortunately you have that opportunity, right. So, we are not the people who will you know turn you out saying that you know nahi nahi abhi mere paas time nahi hai kabhi aajana, theek hai. If the faculty is busy they might ask you to come tomorrow but definitely tomorrow they will check into your answer. And I want to tell you that you have to demand it, right, that Vinay sir has promised here, right on this day. You, you demand from me also, demand from the mentors also, faculties, if somebody says tomorrow or something. So, do not behave like you know, you, you owe us a favor or something. And we do not want to behave in, in front of you that you know, taken for granted attitude. 
right. So, that is not the way things work. So, you should be, I should be responsible for the amount, the money you have invested and also the more than money, the very fact that you have trusted, right. For me, that is more important than the money you have put here, right. So, it is not a, I do not take it for granted. I mean, so I, we might have thousands of students in Bangalore in, you know, test series and everything. But I feel happy that every time somebody comes and, you know, walks in and wants to be part of our initiative, right. I feel a sense of responsibility. Of course, we are not very perfect. I will tell you that also. Like you, when you take up a job, you are not perfect. We are also not perfect. But at least we have that thought inside constantly how we can improve. And if you people can make us accountable, you know, constantly give feedback and tell us that, you know, we need something better than this. So, where our experience outweighs yours will tell you it is already good or something, right. Or if you really come with a genuine concern, it will be immediately addressed. So, make it a two-way process. So, again, it, it should not be like, you know, complaining attitude that you have to discard completely. It should be constructive criticism with a way that, you know, you find little fault in something and then, you know, tell people that, you know, how it can be improved and how we can work together. And we are open to that kind of thing. Whatever growth we have achieved is only because of students' feedback, mainly because of them, right. So, even this program and everything. So, how we wanted uh, at least, you know, like 100 students in the classroom. So, then like, you know, maybe we started on the wrong date or something, I do not know. So, we thought that, you know, we will push little further. From May 15th, we are starting the classes, but you can attend every session that is going to happen. Like we have Manjunath sir who is teaching polity for APEC classes. You just come and sit, you listen like, you know, so what, what are the basic things. Then again modern history will start by Pradeep sir, he will come, right. And then later the geography will start. You can just come and sit and sit and you know, listen to the classes and treat this as your place. Hmm? I told people, OGP people, they can come and sit and study here, right. If you want to come, sit in the corner of the classroom, you study. And if you want to randomly give a test, something, right. So, you take, ask for the copy, you can sit and write here, right. And if you have any doubt, you can just talk to people. And what we are going to do is that, I want to be directly part of this, right. So, every month I have already put in the calendar that four to five days, I will be coming only for interacting with the OGP students. So, during that time we can talk about, you know, various nuances of answer writing, essay writing, various things like, you know, other things, the motivational stuff also. It will continue every month. Secondly, not only me, the faculties will physically come here and teach. Yeah, please. And they will also act as mentors. So, after teaching, you know, they will stay here till evening. So, where you can talk to them, right. And I will assure you, if you can make use of this, right. So, imagine that Manjuna sir is there and you, you write polity answers, you write something, essay, you go and show him, right. And they will give you some constructive uh, feedback. Can, can you imagine, I mean, for now you are all freshers, I understand, you know, directly answer writing and all, thoda sa might look. Are you motivated enough to start doing this? Will you do it from day one? Hmm? Right. And we have some kind of reward program also. For those who write consistently, we want to invest more in those people. And it naturally happens, but we want to do it consciously also. Right. And this is like today I am stating it. This is, uh, this is my dream. Like from this limited batch, I want to see somebody in top 10. Right. And it is not a rocket science. As I said, what it requires is reciprocation. If you have that fire within you, we can do it. Imagine like you start your journey. I mean, it is not a pipe dream or it is not a wrong kind of what you call it, what kind of promise, false promise, creating false hope. I am not telling everyone, right? everyone cannot be in. But one of you, 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 like you will have that spark, right. You will have that fire within you. If we can make use of the resources here, I will assure you that in one attempt, so how much time you have for 23? Hmm? One year, one year for prelims, 
Yeah. One year, like 13 months for prelims, you have. I think May last week it will be there. So, you have 13 months for prelims and then uh, 16 months for mains. So, another like 20 months for, so uh, 18 months for your interview. Right. So, these 18 months can actually change your life. Right. If you are clear, now it comes to you. Right. I have seen the program outline. Right. So, there is answer writing in the beginning, then there is class, then there is MCQs in the beginning and then they will discuss the class content and they will discuss the question and answers and then we will recommend you go back, read related topics from the textbooks, textbooks, NCRTs only in the beginning, not directly do not jump into Lakshmi Khan. that must be read, but before that there are beautiful NCRT textbooks, if it is polity, read them, right. And how to read them and all, we will be taking few sessions, like you know NCRT should not be blindly read as it is. There are wonderful things you can do with NCRT textbooks, right. So, we will tell about it. And now, at the same time, same day can you solve previous year questions, previous year and same day. Imagine like the thing you have to do after like 10 months, do it from now only, today only. Any previous year questions related to that topic, solve on your own. One or two questions you pick up from and you write answers. You have plenty of time after three to four hour class, what will you do? Hmm? Going back to your room, right. You have to constantly think and immerse only UPSC related, nothing else, right. Anything that is there acting as distraction, remove it, completely stay away from it. The single minded focus. So, what you call nowadays, what you call you know in actual Hindu terms and all tapas, yoga, all those things, right. You have to do this with respect to this particular goal and it is a wonderful thing to do. Like I envy you people, like you know nobody told me like this, nobody told us something like this and even if I had written something sitting in a remote village in some part of the Karnataka and did not have access to anyone. In our while preparation when we were spending 4 to 5 years, we never saw a topper. Even YouTube, nobody used to appear on YouTube. We never saw read article about a topper. Only that civil service, that what civil, CSR magazine, competition success review. That used to come with fake interview. Right. So, the same pattern for every topper with big photo and all. So, we used to read that and you know dream that someday CSR front page you know we will have our photo, but magazine itself is gone now, right. So, so many magazines have gone since we, we all people came, <laughs> online current affairs, right. So, are you really passionate about this? Hmm? How I do not hear yes and all. Yes. It is not the how loudly you shout from outside, but from what depth it is coming, right. That matters. The depth of the desire, you know, like how deep it is that you really want to crack it in one attempt or like two attempt and, not, and beyond that why you want to crack it, right. So, if the depth is deep enough and is strongly rooted, I will tell you no force can waver you, no force can distract you. And when you display that kind of passion and this program is going to do magic for you. I honestly, so this year I do not know like something might happen like mean last year he is giving interview that person, I just hope the last year he joined the course and uh, is giving interview. So, very first time when we saw his behavior and conduct, the way he was writing and all, I told he will reach interview stage. He has reached interview stage, I do not know what will happen, right. So, the prediction has stopped because interview is again so much subject you know it is, right. But at least people are reaching that stage. Those who, like when you come regularly with your answers and essays and you know with mentors, we will tell you that 100 percent you will reach. Not in the very first day we will tell you, like after one or two months when you, we start seeing your consistency. We will tell you when it happens, right. 
and there are avenues for you know uh, addressing the small self doubt fears right inconsistency problem distraction problem only provided you come and open up when you open up when you come and talk to us we'll tell you how you can actually prevent them and you know come back to your preparation right so i come with so much experience our team comes with so much experience in the sense that we have been speaking to students from day one it it has never been like one way communication that you know we teach something and we run out sorry run away to another institution to teach something so when i go to uh, institution in bangalore like if i go around 11 o'clock till evening like 4 5 pm i meet like 30 40 students on a busy day on a normal day 10 to 20 students right so i evaluate like 10 to 15 essays and then there is interview guidance now nowadays i'm conducting like you know 12 to 14 mock interviews so today for example it is starting at 2 o'clock and 13 mock interviews are scheduled 2 to 9 pm tonight got it so when when you when you speak to fresher when you speak to people who have failed when you speak to people who have actually cleared this examination those who are going to clear you know you understand the depth you understand the trend of that particular year and we try to you know create awareness among you about those kind of things when you bring an answer we'll tell for this year competition it may be suitable or it may not be suitable and how you need to up the game got it so and we are also going to give you a few uh, notebooks and accessories and all uh, diary also right for you to maintain your day to day activities okay so there you have to be very sincere with the diary that whatever progress you are making you have to note it down and you have to show it to your mentors right so that that will be given in like you know four to five days to you people right any doubt so far Yeah, yeah. So that for that, I have decided uh, one weekly compulsory Zoom session, right? So thanks for asking that. So what we will do is that uh, for you, there will be one Zoom session with me and also other faculty. We'll we'll all together be part of it, right? So with you people, weekly one on Saturday or on Friday, we will have a Zoom session. I want everyone to be part of it. So there is so much to learn. So when it is like when i am giving one way speech i cannot open up everything right the best will come only when you start asking questions so in those kind of interactions when we have uh, questions from you so we'll talk about all these the smaller details you know nuances of this examination it's like so there are so many aspects to this examination right so that will happen there will be continuous communication that will be there For uh, that I do not uh, promise because, uh, so what will happen is, uh, I like to see it in the physical sense, okay. So meanwhile that mentors, we are going to put two extra mentors, they will be looking at them. But when I come three, four days, all of you should bring your essays, right. So morning to evening I will not have any work here, right. So even mock here like what I am doing is that uh, I am coming at 9.30 and going back at 9.30, 12 hours straight. Right. So when you people start writing this, we'll have the same thing. Right. So you come with your essay, you come with your answers, I will see, the mentors will see. Beyond that also, if you want to talk about some other aspects of preparation, we can do that. So that will happen and I'm promising it. I have I've informed my wife also regarding this. That no, I am going there like four days in a month. So this we have to take it very seriously right and i want to commit so that uh, otherwise the result won't be possible you know one side it won't be possible whichever result we have got so far are those, those people who used to be in touch with us on a regular basis so then only we can tell them you know you're definitely going to crack it because we know their evolution we, we have seen their growth how they have improved from one thing to another thing right and there are people who give like multiple marks right uh, mock interviews, 7, 8, 10 mocks, 
Last year there was a person who was scoring, uh, who was scored 151 previous mock, he gave 17 mock interviews. He got 198. And only because of interview he got good rank, because of the jump of you know around 40 plus marks and he got IPS. His other marks were like static, right. So with SA also it happens. Many people who scored 80, 90s or 100s, they come and they increase it to 130, 140. So now jump of 30, 40 marks is huge. So in this cutthroat competition, right. And it's not because of me, it's because of them. Having that humility, having that willingness, you know, to come back, you know, seeking improvement. So that attitude is very much important that I need to improve at any cost, right. And also we have this uh, 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 kind of attitude that once you get a rank, we don't chase you. So it is like karmanya vadika raste ma paleshu kadachana, something like this. What, what does it mean? I know only one this page out of entire Sanskrit or whatever it is. What does it mean? I don't know. It means do your duty, forget the uh, nishkam karma, something like this. So do your duty and forget the fruits or something, right? So we will be so happy when you pass this exam, we will invite you, felicitation. Once we have a group photo with you, forgotten. The focus is on the next batch. We want you to become best officers. We wish you all the best. If you come voluntarily here and if you come, and I treat you as future toppers. So when you come voluntarily, if you want to speak, you are always welcome, right? No special treatment. Some toppers get upset, like, you know, they come, I don't stand up. I mean, why? <laughs> right. So I sit normally as, as I am with you, like, right. And then maybe nowadays I offer coffee or something, but that too hesitatingly. I don't force, no, you must have coffee here, just because you become topper or something, right. Normal treatment. I treat everyone as same. You at the topper, both are human beings. It is just that they have shown extra efforts and they have really, uh, uh, you know, worked hard towards it, but that, that, that doesn't make them special, right? Because nothing should get into head. Thus, the beginning you start treating them very, you know, specially and all. So things get into head. That the society, that is why we see many toppers changing overnight. You might have friends or someone, hmm? relatives, any toppers? No. Okay, that is for next year session, like, you know, before your interview. I would like to see the same faces, you know, when I am doing interview session. How wonderful that would be. You sit here only in this seat, hmm? right. All of you sit wherever you are sitting. Now, it is a possibility. I mean, I, I do not see why it is not. Right. And I joke back well, when, I, when people say that, you know, this exam is so tough and all. Of course, it is tough in terms of how you prepare, how you look at the examination. But the things that needs to be done, mostly NCRT level and what you read in the newspaper. The one who develops, the one who develops their abilities, how, the one who becomes smart in, in, in terms of making use of this basic content. Right, applying that content, selling that content in their answers and essays is the one who will go on to crack this exam. Right, so knowledge level wise, same. How you are going to make use of it? How you are going to apply? How you are going to show it on your paper? For that, what is required? The same exercise repetitively. Right, so now everybody, most of the competition is at that level. You know, they learn, they get static crossing that line, that applying that. Some people do it, again blindly, getting it refined, getting it, you know, evaluated so that you know the competition, the next step. The another next step, being persistent with it till you see that, you know, particular result, right. So that is why we see the, you know, the process of filtering, you know, you, you 100 people are enrolled, 30, 40 people do this. And then in the end, like five, six people who persist. And it is usually those people who will go on to crack this examination. Others, some factors will favor you, maybe very good in optional or interview. They will also one or two people. But by law, by rule, 
it is only these people who persist right am i right have you seen this have you experienced it so now come back to like you know how how you can become ias now can somebody summarize like how to become ias few qualities i will tell you that you must avoid right so i tweeted it but i'll summarize it number 1 i have already talked about it the number one is don't change information don't change knowledge alone consumption of information you learn you revise the very day you apply it and apply it repetitively don't commit the mistake of only learning i mean only knowing learning you know watching videos listening to class apply that knowledge application practice 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 the one who practices maximum number of times is the one who will crack this exam in minimum number of attempts right so this is the thumb rule i mean there is no other way of putting it the one who practices maximum number of times is the one who cracks this in minimum number of attempts secondly the focus must be only on the process whatever learning today right only in the process don't think about tomorrow don't think about day after tomorrow don't think about the weekly test don't think about monthly test never think about prelims mains got it the focus must be on the process the present moment if you are listening to the class ensure that 100% concentration is in the class and you try to imbibe everything that is being said once you go out the class let's say you take up previous year questions right the focus is only on the previous year questions now don't start imagining how we will do in the test or anything in the weekly mock test when you are giving the mock test the focus is only on getting the best out of you not about outcome of the test that you will score these many marks you might score zero you might score negative you might score few marks but never worry about those marks right so this brings to third thing that when something doesn't go your way right take it as a lesson so you you are doing 10 questions today itself you see that you don't know anything about these 10 questions despite attending class despite reading redo it go back so don't get hurt thinking that you know whether you have understood either you have uh, not understood the class or reading very slow or something don't feel inferior about anything so find a way to correct that immediately so seek improvement over anything else how can you improve from here to next so today 10 you didn't answer tomorrow can you answer at least two to three questions right magically what happens when you stuck to this process after one or two months you start seeing consistency in terms of your results without you ever worrying about results the results will start favoring you right i don't know why this is how it happens so as long as you are focused on this the fourth benefit of doing this i mean you will never be stressed about it when you when you are focusing only on the present only on the process so with an aim of enhancing your abilities right so you read a chapter from lakshmi kant so don't try to memorize it understand the topic right when you solve previous year question see if you can apply that when you are reading current affairs news related to that see if you can you know link that theory with what is happening right now the moment you are able to think that write something about it right don't think and leave it maybe you can frame a question you can find a question something for example any political news currently hmm anything like national no something related to polity panchayat raj institutions panchayat raj divas when is it hmm 24th april okay so you have read chapters on panchayat raj those 73rd 74th amendment something right you know the theory you know the background you know the context and everything 
So now can you apply that knowledge to the present situation? In terms of, there are so many ways to think. So can you, uh, I keep asking these interview questions. You know, Panchayat Raj institutions are different because states have the authority to form their own Panchayat Raj laws, right? So every state has its own model of Panchayat Raj. So I can ask a hypothetical question. Can we bring uniform Panchayat Raj structure across the country? I can ask a random question. Right, but it, it is something thought provoking. So you can say why not? You may say no, right? But when you say no, you have to find three four reasons to justify it, right? So the knowledge of theory might help, or your own understanding of the current issue might help. So if you write it down, so that is the part of your contribution, right? So if that part where you you think on your own, right? and you, you write it or you know you uh, may be writing only. When you write it, when you repeatedly do it, so that part develops holistically in a better way. In the sense that in the examination when you face unpredictable unknown questions, you, your mind can actually think, right, without getting scared about it. So that is what, the it brings to fifth that the mistake is people want the expected things to happen, right, predictability, <coughs> certainty. For example, you solve 30 mock tests and you want at least 60 questions to be repeated from the these mock tests. You read entire Lakshmi Khan 4 to 5 times, you want at least, if there are 10 polity questions, you want 6-7 questions directly from the book, right. Now you haven't developed that ability to look beyond the book because you haven't practiced, you haven't applied that knowledge, you haven't linked it with you know present develop, developments. So what happens when you don't see the expected thing? People get nervous, they melt, right? So you have to prepare for the uncertain part of this whole examination process. How? The previous point, right? So where you develop that, you know, uh, presence of mind, your own smartness, hmm? critical thinking ability, analytical ability. So, so that you face such kind of situation, you know how to respond, how to adapt fast, immediately address this issue. Got it? So the OGP is actually, fortunately, will have this component. I mean, again, it comes back to you. You have to be part of it, right? So then, there are many parts, right? So what are the other mistakes that you must avoid? Hmm? You might have thought, no, when you came here, like when you wanted to prepare for this exam, I should be like this. Hmm? Consistency. consistency. Who said it? Good. So how will you stay consistent? So lack of consistency is, you know, another big mistake. Why, why does it happen? Lack of consistency? Hmm? Why you can't be consistent? Lack of self-discipline, distractions, then loss of momentum. Let's say you, you, you people have paid the fees, right? Now, now I will say that, you know, you uh, I will give you a 12 hour schedule, right? From morning to night, I, I have given you a 12, 12 hour schedule. And you follow this schedule, at the end of the month, I will pay you 25,000 rupees. I will pay you a salary, right? But you have to make, make sure that like a job, you have to come and do it from morning to evening. And at the end of the month, I will pay you 32 maybe going by standard, present standard, 40,000 rupees. Then what will you do? Hmm? No, you will do, 90% of the people will do. Now they, they will look at it as a job, right? They will not look at it as preparation or something to be done, you know, like as a burden and anything. Some people will go one step, like, you know, it's both helping me learn and at the same time, you know, earn. Why not do it? 
I do not have to pay the fees the institution is paying, right. Now, what is the difference between you paying the fees and doing and you coming and doing I am paying you as a salary? Why will you do in the second case? Why not in the first case? Because sir, when we uh, actually, when we perceive that something we are gaining from period of cost, uh, uh, so that so we must try, uh, we simply try to get uh, work more and more hours. Uh, because what is happening here, he, uh, he is actually reading as well as gaining something, gaining money. Then he has certain uh, idea that he is making money. That is why he can put more and more effort. Correct. We are not uh, that much involved in that process. So, this is all because of you know the, the entire education system where we have not been taught about delayed gratification. You know what is delayed gratification? You do something, but you do not wait for rewards immediately, right. And there is this mindset of you know ki you complete your education and then you go get a job, then you will earn handsomely. So, the mind is focused on that particular thing, job, money, right. So, if you can treat this entire preparation as job, somehow you delay the gratification in the sense that no, I do not want monthly salary, you tell the you tell the organization. Let us say you are working in Samsung, you tell them, no, I do not give me monthly salary at the end of the like for new year, you give me all 12 months salary, all at once. Right. Maybe even then also you will work because there is a guarantee that they are going to give you. It is a big organization. Right. So, but in this case there is no guarantee per se, but there is certainty that if you can work really in a disciplined way, the delayed gratification it can be one attempt, two attempt, but the kind of you know reward, the kind of benefit you will get out of even if you give 100 crore rupees, you won't get it, right? Can you just give 100 crores and go to UPSC and tell that ki, you know give me IAS? You won't get it. You will never get it, right? So there is a process. So that if you can delay it and change your mindset, just a switch on and off. Change your mindset from somebody as if you know you were like working day and night on your own you know far away from this thing you people will go happily on site if there is a opportunity right somebody from bangalore will come and work in gurgaon right if they get job in tcs or infosys right without complaining about so much about these things right it's all in the mindset so, this idea that you have to treat this whole preparation as a job is very important. So, treat it like this. So, forget about salary, forget about other things. It is your job. So, I cannot put it in any other way. It is your job. It is your job from morning to midnight. You do more number of hours, the more benefits you will accrue in the end, right that over time OT. So, that is the mindset. If you do this, do it. I mean, what is stopping you from doing it now? Hmm? So, lack of discipline, lack of motivation, everything is internal, right? Nobody from external is actually you know, making you become indisciplined or anything. You know that, right? In rare cases, in relationship cases, maybe there are struggles and those things. But in most cases, all of you are single, right? Hmm? So, hmm? yes or no? I do not hear. <laughs> anyway, fine. I assume all of you are single and want to be single for next 2 to 3 years, right? Be single, like why? Delay it. Hmm? So, delay that also, right? It is when you are underconfident that is when your heart becomes large that you know you want love, affection, sense of security. When you really feel powerful, confident you can conquer the world, you do not feel the need for relationship. Have you observed this? Hmm? 
there are people who have gone on to become prime ministers, right? Hmm? Chief ministers, single person. So nothing, nothing, nothing can stop them, and they have that confidence, right? It's all about confidence, but they don't see any, you know, requirement for it, and they can sacrifice it also, right? Again, that is important once you get into a position, you know, where you can manage it, do whatever you want, and then. They also equations keep changing that, but it is perfectly fine, the society has accepted it. So, imagine those things also so as, as kind of you know your rewards in the end for all the hard work that you are putting right now, right. So, that commitment should be there right now. Can anybody tell me why, why is it difficult? No, I am telling you I am motivating little bit motivation is coming to you also. Then again, when you go back, go out, out of this room, you are again, you are normal, right? Hmm? Amadmi again. Hmm? So, <laughs> so, why does it happen? Can anybody who has done course in psychology or, hmm? or physics also? Hmm? Anybody from psychology here? No. Sociology? Political science? Sociology. Hmm. Say something like, I'll take it as psychology only. Hmm? <laughs> so, what you can do in that situation? You take a little break, adapt. Yeah, exactly. Take a break, but in that but bounce back. We are break completely. Yeah. We are break which our mind can handle. Exactly. And then we can increase our lifestyle. No, that that kind of attitude you should have. When you feel exhausted, go for a movie. Come back rejuvenated, not distracted. Correct, that will actually help. There are many things that can help. Why you started, why, why you want to prepare, like why you want to be involved in this whole process. Now, I see it as a, the most beautiful part of anyone's life, you know, this preparation phase. It gives you opportunity to become the best possible person you can be. Provided we are like an open book, you know, trying to adapt fast, adopt what other people, learning, you know, lessons from others keep improving yourself. If the focus is on that, this is a wonderful thing, right? And mind should think like that. So, that is, that is why, you know, the focus on process is important. I mean, you have to forget. I mean, I, I, when I say it, you believe in this. So, do not think about problem, do not think about nothing. It does not make sense. Today, you have targets. Today, you have something to do it. You do it perfectly well, right? So, now I have my own dialogue, like some people come and ask, so, I am doing my own dialogue. So, some people come and say, like, sir, do you do meditation? Do you do some yoga or anything? Like, you look calm, something relaxed and all. Okay, so, one reason is I am well off now, so, nothing to lose. But even then, there is so much thing to manage. Then, I tell that I actually live by this dictum, living in the present. So, what I am doing, I treat it as a meditation basically, right. So, if I am evaluating one essay, I get so much immersed that I do not think about anything else. Now, while I am talking to you people, I am not thinking about anything else, right. And taking things in your stride, the flow with the life, right. So, we have built this big thing and you know, uh, the, we do not have enough money to market like you know, attract so many thousands of students in Delhi. So, it is all about trust and uh, trust building exercise, giving justice to, doing justice to what your expectations. A small number other people might have mightily worried about it. Now, I am taking it as an opportunity here, right. So, the mindset. So, something happens, can you adapt? 
can you look at the positive side of the thing so that that will help you remain calm remain relaxed you will go back and sleep well right and there is another trick that can help you stay calm and relaxed what is that something preparing your mind for the worst possible thing that can happen before and has anyone tried this no so for everyone's life for most of the aspirant worst possible thing is what setting up another institution hmm? right failing in this examination right despite putting all the efforts so can you imagine that scenario and prepare your mind completely that okay i will give four attempt three attempt or only one attempt depending on you know how much time you can spend based on the resource or anything prepare mind for the worst possible outcome and have plan b in your mind what will you do right for me now what is my plan b i want to become a farmer so i have told my family i told everyone I, even i have prepared their minds also for the worst possible thing right you need them right you cannot go do it and alone so assume in an instant everything vanishes the thing you have built so many people are employed everything is vanishes so what will you do i'll go back and do farming let us assume that i don't have land to farm I am ready to do any manual work also. I will do it. But from there, I will start, and another ten year, I will build something again, something like this. So I won't say in one year, I one two year, I will build it. You put me wherever, in whichever field. I am not telling you I will build like big big things or anything. So to this level, in any field, it's just about the attitude. Can you learn? Can you do things slightly differently? go on to build something on your own right so i'm not scared about anything at all so don't be scared about the future right don't worry about your future like don't worry about what is going to happen in coming years prepare your mind can you can do wonderful thing there are people who quit in after one or two attempt they are pursuing higher studies i know people who went to harvard i know people who are doing great courses in iit delhi somebody from humanities right so and they will become another geeta gopinath or raghuram rajan or manmohan singh or somebody right going in the future there are avenues but today you have chosen this so when you are preparing your mind for the worst it doesn't mean that you are escaping from this right the mind part of a mind as is set like you know it is prepared but you are continuously doing justice to what you are doing right now right so just because i want to become a farmer i cannot go and sit you know somewhere and be detached from everything that doesn't make any sense right the reality is that for in this moment this is my job preparation is your job so you have to do justice to this particular thing so when you do this you know when you have focus on when you have when you are mentally prepared for the worst and focused on the process then the wonderful things start happening the worst thing that you have imagined will never happen to you will never happen to you so that is the beauty of life and in my small limited experience i have witnessed it there is only growth there is only progress but that worst thing will never happen to you unless you re you really want to you know screw screw it up on your own consciously so otherwise it won't happen so in your case the failure will never come right do you believe in whatever i told you hmm? really hmm? so whatever i told you is the truth Oh, sorry, I keep forgetting there are online people also. See, uh, every faculty one 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 has asked geography faculty of Bangalore or Delhi, Bangalore. P 
people who are teaching in Bangalore will come and teach. So, we do not have separate Delhi faculty or anything here. Yeah, request you to please look that we are there to the schedule as far as possible. Yes. So, only change that might happen if the faculty is not well or somebody. The core, like instead of geography, we might take polity or something. But the schedule will remain the same. The, the, the fundamental structure that you know first will complete one subject and will move to another subject will continue. It is not like we complete half polity and then we will move to half geography, it will not happen like that. One subject is completed, then we will go to the subject might get changed, but not the timetable. So, one has uh, Mishi Dolly, I have seen enough moral motivation stuff. I just want class to start as soon as possible without wasting my time. So, that also we will do, right. I mean, she is right, like, so why laugh at her? So, we will definitely start the class. Today's session is not about classes. The fundamentally, that today's session is about introduction you to the course and uh, we believe that the course is not just telling you, you know, timetable and you follow this and you know, running out, running away. While doing mock interviews, I have noticed that the personality is more important than the knowledge component, right. So, it is my moral duty to tell you that this is the kind of personality you need to have to ensure that there is consistency and there is good outcome the going forward. How will online students ask for evaluation of answers and essays? So, there is mentorship, right. So, uh, weekly uh, you can take a mentorship session with your mentor, you can send their copies, they will evaluate and you can you know rate them also, the mentors. So, there is an option to rate their feedback and uh, so we have a process in place, so there is no doubt about it. There is a portal, in your portal there is option to talk to your mentor. So, that we will enable you know from May 15th onwards. So, how you can utilize the gap of 20 days efficiently when we are in a series of classes we are doing these sessions that you know how to go about the things forward reading newspaper, making notes, reading NCRT all these things. Secondly, how you can make use of it is start there are two things you can start one is you decide your optional right now right you can come and talk to us which optional to take that you can finalize and just start reading the basic part of it. Secondly, the things we are going to teach is are nothing but the general study stuff. So, you can start on your own, start with your NCIT textbooks and start getting familiarized with the websites, the initiative, secure initiative that, that is going to be uh, very much part of your preparation, right. So, secure insecure you have to pick up one or two questions and then start writing them, that is one thing. I am really sorry I forgot online students. Oh, I am from Arunachal Pradesh, I am from West Bengal, I am from Lucknow. Online students will also get the diary and notebooks, yes, we will uh, send you also. So, do you, what about you people, you have any worries? No doubts. Hmm? No, ask, you have to ask questions. Did you ask this question here? No. Somebody asked a similar question. So, please tell how not to get distracted, right. How? All of you face distractions, right? Some, some sort of distraction. The common distractions I am not earning, parents money I am spending and then uh, 
there are distraction of you know your classmates who are well settled going into foreign universities started have started earning and all so that is there and then distractions if any relationship that is also there so other distraction in terms of too much of material too many strategies too many people telling you too many things to do even they are also there right so how do you stay insulated stay firm right with this goal that you never get distracted by these kind of things hmm? so what is the answer is there anyone who has done that so far hmm? not getting distracted i have already answered it you know that right hmm? what is the answer basically uh, staying away from comfort you have to make your com- subconscious mind strong so it's not every time comfort it gives excuses okay does it allow us to improve the mistakes correct so there is no formula here it all comes down to your individual setup your individual personality here so i can tell one thing for everyone but again your willingness to go back adopt practice it that makes the huge difference right so basically we have to worry about only what we can control right now right now sitting in the classroom can you control how much your parents are earning how much your parents are sending right can you have can you go and earn and you know send them back can you earn yourself and you know manage both no that option is there but can you do it now right so it starts with worrying about only what you can control within your capacities right so that is when one of the ways to avoid distractions so when you see that you are actually helpless here when you cannot do anything beyond just thinking or getting distracted you have to stop doing it because it doesn't make any sense it is not going to give any results suddenly it is not going to stop you from you know using your parents money right accept the reality this is what it is this is my situation this is my condition accept it once you have accepted what is real this is reality then you have to continue to live with it without regret without guilt or anything that by focusing more on your job right you will be able to pay it back later you will you will be able to compensate it later 100% right now you cannot do it right you will be able to give better life to your parents you will be able to give them status everything right that only by not worrying about these things right now so don't worry about that it's okay i have told people you know Uh, there are many students who come with so many socio economic problems right so i have seen the worst of the worst but the thing is what can you do if you can do four hour job and prepare with this you prepare we'll support you right so that is fine so no if you have the ability potential thing that you can crack in one attempt give everything you have to this exam don't worry about that you no know, sleep in temple right so eat here and there you know you know work in a hotel for 2 3 hours eat there work hard and there are disabled people you know who never complain and somehow they also prepare very well and we have everything so basically it is your own you know so what we call the core of the personality if that is strong firm then you know that can weather any kind of storm in terms of i understand the pain and everything right so it is not easy thing to digest but if you can somehow say ki is a temporary thing 
it's not going to be permanent. So then you will be able to deal with it. So how uh, uh, we online students can get in touch with you? As I said, uh, every week there will be Zoom session with me, right? So there uh, we will uh, talk about the anything you want to. Like you can come up with questions. I will also have my own topic. For example, uh, first week we can talk about so how to start writing essays, right? Second time we can further it. You know how to start better introduction in the essays, how to write the body. So going forward, how you can start following secure along with this thing. So we will have these kind of interactive sessions with you, right? So this is going to be a game changer in the sense that, uh, so what as far as I have heard in Delhi, nobody does these things in terms of, you know, interacting with people, regularly giving feedback and all. So we have to make it so consistent. So we keep telling you, you know, you be consistent, right? And uh, we have been consistent with so many things like in the online initiatives and everything and back OGP and all here we will ensure that consistency in terms of our interaction with you in terms of you know classes in terms of tests and everything they will go on as scheduled and that consistency from both the sides will result in better results okay but be open to making use of these things hmm? so never run away like the moment you feel distracted you come and talk it's okay like 10 minutes we can have a talk and even in Zoom session also we can have discussions. We, we all can learn from each other, right? So there is nothing called, you know, waste of time. If I am addressing her query, if I am addressing others query, we can all learn from each other. So what about your background? So many are from arts? Two, three, five, six. Okay. Engineers? Oh, others commerce. Okay. So how many of you are from Delhi University? Good. JNU, which are the other universities you are from. So nobody is from South here. Hmm? Karnataka, okay. Tamil Nadu, Andhra, Telangana, Maharashtra, no. Haryana, good. Uh, Delhi, okay, good. UP, nice. Always highest numbers. <laughs> Bihar, oh, very good. Jharkhand, nice, welcome. <laughs> West Bengal, online we have. Arunachal Pradesh, we have. Good, it's a one. Rajasthan, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh. Good. You, you want to be part of the OGP. Good. So, <coughs> this is it. And. Uh, hmm? Assam. Assam, achieve. Assam. Raise. You are from Assam? Nice, very good. good. See, it is all in our psyche, ignoring Northeast. Hmm? Okay. So, who we, is there anyone who remotely believes that you can be rank 1? Very good. Not remotely, they confidently believe that. It is very good. What about you? Confidently <laughs> She said, okay, who confidently believes that you can be rank one? You have to put efforts. Hmm? So feel like uh, it is one, one group, right? And uh, I have informed these people, you know, you come study here, you feel like, you know, this place belongs to you. And uh, if you want to come, or if you are getting distracted at room that, you know, to write answers, come sit and write answers. Whenever the classroom is empty, mostly it will be empty. So you come and you know, do it. So use the facilities here and you can talk to people here. Hmm? And whenever you, any, you have any kind of doubts or anything, feel free to uh, message. You, you can take my number. So only WhatsApp. But, hmm? WhatsApp with the first line saying that uh, I am OGP student. Delete. So you will get immediate response. Okay. So if you have any doubts, sometime be, till May 15th, I am going to be very busy with online interviews, uh, mock interviews and all. But after that, you will see that I will respond immediately. So hmm? don't get angry. Waiting for? Actually, I am from No, no, it is going to happen. Like, no. 
it's final. 16, we, we are hoping another like maybe 10, 15 students will join, right. So, and from 16th onwards, it's going to happen continuously and it will stop only the last day. So, no further postponement or anything, 100 percent. So, till then as I said, you come and attend class if you want, if you engage yourself something, decide your optionals, right. So, regarding optionals, uh, uh, you know that. So, there are like few optionals which are really doing well. Number one, political science, second, sociology, third, anthropology. And uh, in fourth place, you can say mix of optionals like, you know, geography, public administration and literature, right. And then mathematics, professional course, if somebody is really good in those kind of courses. So, others are not doing so great like philosophy, psychology and all. Uh, one of these optional you can definitely go with, like provided you really have interest and if, if your background is in those particular course, you go with them. So, be very practical, you know. So, just because you like philosophy, you do not chase philosophy. If you have done a course like BA in philosophy or something, then go with philosophy. Psychology also, just because you like, you have read self-help books and you know some psychology, do not think that that will help you. So, with respect to uh, this examination, you, you have to be very practical. So, any other doubts? No doubts. And you are from? Yeah. Hmm? Kashmir. Kashmir. Oh, nice. Welcome. We have a center in Kashmir. It's just like museum. <laughs> so, six months open, six months closed. So, we tell people, you know, you come and sit and study. It is free. So, nobody is coming. I don't know. Correct. Mm. Would you please explain first? Mm. No, the logic is simple. Like, why you shouldn't change? Like, there are uh, uh, one. It's a very good question. Like, one or two things about it. So, when we say that, uh, don't chase multiple sources. It's more about uh, getting most out of one source. So, you follow, let's say, for poli polity only NCRT and Lakshmikant, right? So, revise it multiple times and then solve around thousand, two thousand questions on polity. Right. Again, questions from previous year UPSC, all the exams, all objective exams. There is NDA, CDS, IAS exam, CAPF exam, then civil services exam. So, you take questions from them, you do them. Right. So, that will give you maximum return. Now, do the same thing with another subject, right, multiple times and again number of questions. So, that will give you maximum return. Now, if you start reading in the very beginning, multiple sources, it is detrimental. So, in the beginning of your course, first one month when you are learning about polity, you stick to one source, revise multiple times, right. Now, now the classroom notes and Lakshmikan basically and NCRT. After that, once you cross this stage, when you start writing main test series, right. So, at that time, you can do selectively few chapters from books like DD Basu. There is introduction to Indian constitution, you know, Durga Das Basu, example. So, any one standard book again, so which has this analytical, you know, touch to that subject. So, that you know, in mains you can bring that kind of introduction, you know, analysis in your body part. So, those kind of books, only one for uh, every subject, there is one book written by standard authors, you can stick to that. But in the initial uh, phases, stick to basics and one resource only. Okay. So, do not go for multiple. Similarly, for current affairs also. Any one newspaper, our current affairs and quiz every day, right. So, or what you can do is that do not do daily current affairs from our website. You can directly go for monthly compilation, but daily you can do from any one newspaper and then current affairs. But again, the source is one or two sources, but the maximum returns. Daily one newspaper you are reading may be Indian Express or something and then you are solving quiz about it. Secure you may be doing it. So, both prelims means uh, perspective you are you know understanding the newspaper. You can take a monthly compilation hours or anyone you know then you can revise entire month's current affairs. And from June onwards like we will be bringing uh, uh, our lighter version of current affairs monthly magazine. So, people think that it is too bulky you know. 
they cannot read inside its current affairs. So, so we are planning to make it lighter version with all the important uh, of current affairs in it. Maybe we can go for it. Maybe we can give you hard copy of that also, right? For you people, we'll make it available. Hard copy. You remind it, okay? No, that we will uh, refine it. That is only. Uh -huh. Uh, it is basically monthly will be revision for you. What you are doing on daily basis, if you again read it, it is a revision. In my uh, suggestion, that you have to do. Now again taking up another monthly magazine. If you are doing our daily current affairs, but taking up another institution monthly, it does not help you. The reinforcement will not happen. So what I am recommending instead of that, read paper, solve current affair quiz, do not read daily current affairs, right, from our website, but take monthly magazine from some other institution, right. So that is better than you know you you daily doing again one hour, two hour year, again monthly you are spending more time in another magazine, everything will get dispersed, okay. So uh, are you all confident, hmm? really confident, felt good, what? <laughs> So feel happy, feel good about it. It's going to be really a game changer, and I'll, I'll, I'll promise you that it's going to be really a wonderful journey, right? And I require, I want your active participation in this, right? Together we will do some magic. In 2023 attempt, we will do some magic, right? We'll do it. And you know, OGP student, you have uh, this thing, um, uh, core batch option also. So for you people, we will conduct an entrance exam in the month of, uh, uh, immediately after mains. So September in month, May will be there, around October we will do core batch. So you can become part of the core batch and parallelly pursue this also. The idea is that, you know, by that time you will be good, good with some fundamental courses, fundamental subjects. So you are in a position to invest your time in, you know, regular answer writing practice so that by April, you are good with everything, right? So full length answer writing of, you know, essay, ethics, all GS papers, right? And my suggestion by October, try to complete your optional also. Which are optional, whether it is through coaching or self-study, you try to complete your optional by October. So that October, November, December, you write a test series on optional, okay? So by December, you are confident with respect to optional. And one more test series in the month of January, February, March, two times. And then one after prelims. So three optional test series, provided you complete it by October. October is a realistic target, I think. May, June, July, August, September, October. So in six months, you can do any optional, whether it is through coaching or self-study, right? After that, you, you should invest your time in test series. So there will be optional test series, then there will, that is going to be very hectic for you, right? GS core batch tests and then by April like you will be like fully ready for the exam before prelims. So that will get very hectic but you need to accept it, you need to be part of it. So you have that opportunity also, right? So the core batch will be at no extra cost. So you do not have to pay anything extra, so you will be, those who crack that exam will be given free access for OGP students, right? So there are wonderful things going to happen, right? I don't know, I don't, I really don't know how others are doing, I don't want to compare. But as far as I believe, nobody gives so many tests as part of the classroom program. Mentorship, you know, making you sit in front of them, talking, guiding, okay? So people are not doing it. Use it, make use of it, you will see the difference within three, four months. Core batch, so the feature is there is self-study every once two to three days there will be a test. Three revisions will happen. Three revision of all four GS papers and uh, uh, essay. Uh, in such a way that first iteration we will have like 10 questions, one hour you have to write. In the second iteration we will have 15 questions, one and a half to two hours time we will give. Third iteration only full length test, two and a half to three hours. We will change the time, you know, the first two and a half hours, 20 questions and then we will make three hours. So that is the, the broad structure. So GS 1, 2, 3, 4 in one cycle in between essays will be there. So 
three round of revision through answer rating will happen in the, in the core batch, right. So, for you people again, the, for others there will be extra mentorship and all, for you anyway the mentorship will continue. And most of the times it is from core batch we get our ranks. So, people who graduate from you know classroom to core batch and core batch, uh, they will uh, they will not have any fear of writing 20 answers in 3 hours. One common feedback from core batch students is that give them many questions they can write answers anywhere. The complete removal of fear of answer writing will be there. Right. So, when you go to mains with you know if you have put extra hard work and you know enriched your content knowledge, so your answers will be completely different compared to the competition. Right. So, we have a telegram channel also, right. maybe for regular updates if you want you can join. OGP will start uh, uh, another different group. See for online students, uh, uh, see we were forced to go online, we, I even basically I did not like the idea of online classes. I believe learning happens in offline. But because of inevitable uh, condition if somebody has to do it online, so my recommendation if they can come and meet us once in a week or once in a month, twice in a month. So what they can do online people, they can bring your essays and answers, right. So physically sit with us get them evaluated, talk to our mentors and go back. So, I think that is the only uh, hybrid way possible. But if somebody wants to attend offline classes, like if somebody is nearby, you are welcome to attend offline classes also. So, how to use our website? There will be a separate session, right. So, we have something called Instapedia for if you want, if you want any ready made material. And most important part is the secure and daily current affair quiz in my opinion. So, every topper as far as I know, have used our inside secure content in some way or the other, right. So, those compilations, so especially for paper 2 and 3, it is a go, go for source. You can just download secure compilation of last month and you can see it. The, the diversity of questions we have covered and the model answers we have created for that, they directly cover and they more or less those kind of questions get repeated in the actual exam. I mean, because they, there is a direct syllabus related to mains. So, you will see that. So, those answers will be evaluating here for you, right. So, really want to make this program a grand success in terms of how it goes. So, I am not focused on the outcome as I said, but the process I want it to be really engaging, very, very rewarding. So, I want your feedback, whatever it is critical, anything you come and say honestly, right. We will definitely improve it, we will definitely, and this is not an experiment. So, we already have a process in place and uh, we will just taking it forward. Just want to see you know those individuals where we within one or two months start feeling that yes, it is worth doing it, right, that worth investing the resources here. And I mean the, for a teacher that is the most rewarding thing that can happen. When you are putting effort you start seeing you know some people are getting molded by it developing those kind of personality, start showing that promise that they are going to be toppers. And we take liberty to, somebody ob raised objection about that, but I take liberty to, but in the class we will never do, like you know, any of our teachers will never teach morality, motivation in our classes, only accept me because I do not know anything, right. So, other teachers will focus only on the teaching. So, they will never discuss politics they will never discuss unwanted issues, no gossips. So, that is our USP, right. So, they are down to earth people, they mean business, they will come and again they will not act smart also, that they, they, they know more things than you, hmm? they have read more than you, right. They have opinion on every issue, no we do not have that kind of people. So, so, I have carefully, we have built a team which means business. So, they come, teach, and then they go. If at all, I do not know, nobody has done so far, if at all somebody does that you can tell us. But as a stress buster they can talk about exam preparation in general, right. So, what you are doing, how you can do and all, maybe sometimes sometime things get monotonous. But no politics, no religion, nothing beyond exam is ever discussed, right. 
fine. So, wish you all the best once again. So, uh, welcome you all and I hope you will have a rewarding journey and uh, journey, journey is what matters, right. So, thank you so much. Pardon? See, uh, we do not have like fixed duration. The classroom timetable wise April end is the uh, mid April is the you know cut off period to complete the classes. So, again this is an important point. What we do is that we will continue to treat you as a student. After that we will have main test series, right. 3 months after prelims we will write the main test series that is also part of the program. And then after that the intro guidance will be there. And let us say that you do not leave prelims unfortunately, right. You will get free prelim test series. And if you want to attend few classes you can come and attend also free of cost. We are not going to ask anything, we it is a continuous thing. Basically once you are student till you clear we continue to treat you as a student our doors are always open. You do not have to show like ID or you know do not have to hesitate thinking that you know you paid last year you cannot come. So, we do not have that policy, open door policy and uh, we will keep guiding you, we will not discriminate also. Let us say you come next year like for some mains answer guidance, some essay review and all, we will not tell you no, no, you are like last year student, your quota is over, nothing like that. So, we will continue to guide you. Classes wise April and then main test series. After that, it is, uh, we welcome you always, you know, to come here and use the facilities. And these are all we are doing it. I am now it's not I'm promising in Delhi or anything. In Bangalore, and we are the only institution as far as I know, we get more old students than new students. Right. So, like for example, I have met more people who have cleared mains, given so many interviews. Those, those are the people in large number who come and meet us regularly than complete freshers. So, here it is mostly the reverse, you know, the inflow of freshers is high. Most of the other people won't come again, you know, to come and talk to their teachers or anything. 